Hi guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're back. It's Carabao Cup time, it's Plymouth Fargal versus Leighton Orient. Our previous fixtures versus Leighton Orient, last time out on the 15th of September 2020, we was on the end of a 3-2 loss away from home in the EFL Cup. Before that, on the 22nd of October 2019, at home park, we was victorious in a 4-0 win in League 2. And on, before that, on the 13th of August 2019, in the EFL Cup, we won 2-0 again at home park. Now, the league standings for our goal, obviously, we've shocked everyone in the championship by stunning uh, Huddersfield Town 3-1 on the weekend. Some performance, some credit to, to the team for that and Shuey, some masterclass against a well Neil Warnock side. Now, as for Leighton Orient, they currently stand 16th in League 1 after a narrow 1-0 away defeat on the opening day to Charlton. Now, some things to add. Luke Cundall, he's a centre mid to centre attacking midfielder, highly rated from Swansea fans. He's joined on loan from Wolves. And according to the Herald, Julio Plegazulo is set for his debut tonight. So exciting times. These type of fixtures are brilliant for Argyle to use their squad depth and rotate the teams around so that obviously players don't, don't have as tired legs for the weekend. Last thing to add also, my Janaraid vlog. Some of you may know I, I recorded some stuff for Janaraid. That will be out either tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, make sure make sure you stay tuned for that. But yeah, let's make our way to the ground. Come on, you greens. Right then, we're in the stadium now. It's about 10 minutes to kick off. Lineups are out. Burton in goal. Hazel Hayden, Megazulo, Butcher, Early at the back. Warrington, Cundall and Azaz in the midfield three. And then Zach and Wayne and Wright in a, in a front three. Very uh, changed around lineup, I'd say. Very strong bench like of Hardy, Whitaker, Mumba, uh, Randall, Gibson on, on the bench. Um, confident for tonight. I mean, obviously, we still want strength in this lineup as well as, as that rotation as I spoke about earlier to keep everyone's legs. Uh, fresh and untired. I'm going to go with a 3 1 tonight. Dad, score prediction? 3 0. Dad, score prediction? 2 0. 2 0. Obviously, we never really do well in the Carabao Cup, but to progress when, when obviously in the Championship, the main thing is survival to get far in these type of cups to gain that additional funds. Yeah, it's always beneficial. But I'm hoping for a win. Right then, we've got an additional pass for the score prediction. I'm going with Billy. Billy wants to score prediction for him.
half time now, scored 2 0 greens. Um, yeah, very good first half. I think we're trying to develop like a high press, which is working, it's creating us chances, doing well. Obviously, Ben Wade on the score sheet twice. Two uh, offside goals, disallowed goals. I'm convinced as as is won the second one, was it off? Um, but yeah, looking bright for the second half, possibly a couple more goals. Uh, get a couple of the first two breakers like that, uh, waiting for you know, to be scared, making all his opposition. Um, but yeah, bumps in the second half, made by the first. Thank you. Then, full time, Argyle 2, Leighton Orient nil. through to the next round, positive. Um, yeah, second half, I think I think we, we slowed the tempo. Uh, I thought Leighton Orient were, was on top. Uh, they didn't get their goal, um, which I was pushing hard for. But we move on to Watford away. I'm not going to be there, unfortunately, uh, as, I'm, as I'm away at a festival. But it's going to be a very tough game. It's going to be the toughest test so far, although it is only two games in. But you know, uh, Shuey's always got a trick up his sleeve, and I'm sure he'll have a he'll have a, he'll have a plan for for them. So I'll see you at Southampton away. Uh, Jana Aid vlog will be out sometime tonight after this or, or tomorrow. Um, the links down below for for Paul Maxwell's just giving page. Uh, more will be on on the Jana Aid video if you want to check that one out. So yeah, see you Southampton, Conquer.